So we are now a few weeks uh, into what we tech pundits have decided to call the year of virtual dun, reality. Dun, oh. It is finally here. Uh, mostly this year, we've been talking about hardware heavy PC virtual reality like Oculus. But today, Google had some big virtual reality news. They've created a dedicated division for virtual reality computing. And according to Recode sources, Clay Baver, VP for product management, will run the new division. Mark Bergen, who covers Google for Recode, is joining us today to talk about this story. Welcome, Mark. Hey, thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for coming on. Uh, so what, uh, tell us what happened. What did they announce today? Or what did your sources hear today? Um, sure. So it's kind of an executive shift that I think kind of, it signals in, in one move the two most important things for Google in 2016. So you had Clay, who's been running uh, Google Apps, so Gmail, Google Docs, Drive. Uh, he's also been taking on Cardboard since, since uh, it was introduced um, last year. So now Clay will just be running kind of everything VR, which is Cardboard and whatever else Google's working on. Uh, and the apps team is shifting under Diane Green, who was hired um, a couple months back from the, the former CEO of uh, VMware. It was like a really big name in, in the enterprise software world, um, which means that Google is getting much more serious about actually building a, an enterprise business. Do we know anything specific about the products? About the VR product mm -hmm. or about? The, the new, the, any of the new products they might be coming up with, or is it all, is, or they, is it just cardboard at this point that they're going to be? At this point, with? all we know is cardboard. I mean, you know that there's certainly more they have in the works. Um, they have, you know, their long-term bet is Magic Leap, which is that, a company down in Florida that's doing the augmented cinematic reality. Um, that, but that, that's, you know, uh, from what I understand, possibly like 10 years away from really going to market. Um, and I think they've played around with some other VR things in the ATAP group and certainly maybe with an X. Um, but as far as what they've been public about, it's just cardboard. Scott, I think you had a question for Mark, didn't you? I, I do, actually. So um, one of the things that interests me about all of this and about about Google's place in whatever happens with VR, and now that we've got, you know, pre-orders happening for Oculus, we have Vibe pre-order date on the 28th of February and PlayStation VR coming, it's all starting to heat up in a way that uh, makes me think of platform wars, or at the very at the very least, we have a number of platforms to develop for, and a lot of experiences are going to be across those platforms, whatever those experiences be, from games to simulations to whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. um, my question is, as far as Google's positioning in all of this, will they treat it a lot like they have treated the multi-platform phone market in that their services, like, say, VR chat rooms or way to leverage their search or whatever in these virtual reality situations, will these products be sort of, will it be the way that they've done it with the ecosystems around Android, iOS, and so on, where they are willing to say, sure, we may have, we may be pushing this flagship Android product, but we really want to make a good calendar app for iOS and for phones, for, for iPhone users. Do you think that same approach will be taken here? And will that kind of be their role as, as a both service provider and hardware maker slash designer? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, they, you know, they, Certainly, YouTube was an important part of the story for them, um, both because that's the resources they have. They, the cardboard is have their new platform they launched at the last I.O. called Jump, which is a 360-degree video. Um, Facebook is moving really aggressively into, into VR and video. Uh, and, and there's also, they have a project with, um, oh, God, so many projects. Project Tango, sorry, there, that, that phone from the ATAP group where you kind of augmented reality through a phone. Uh, I, I mean, I do suspect that they'll kind of they'll try to open source it. They'll try to approach it like they've approached Android, and they'll try to get partners. And they certainly need people to, you know, from my understanding, uh, the big missing piece in VR is just just content and really like compelling and good content. Well, uh, and the, the the only thing I would follow up with that is when they introduced, and I believe it was also at a Google I/O. Um, and Jason, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but they introduced their 360 degree video rig. That's jump, yeah. Yeah, Jump, that was Jump. correct. And it seems like that's there's huge potential for that in, in terms of them being a trend, trendsetter for that or being able to establish a technology that everybody leaps onto and says, yep, we're going to use this as a as a standard moving forward, which again would benefit all platforms. Any new sure. movement in that area? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I mean, I think there's, they have an, um, they, they're sort of kind of, they have cooperation with a company called Jaunt. Um, that's like Google Ventures invested in them, but Jaunt is also doing you know, the video side, and I know there's a lot of competitors doing that. Um, I haven't heard a lot from from the Jump and, and YouTube team, although I'm not following it as closely as I should. So with Cardboard, they have the Google Expeditions program that for schools to take virtual field trips, uh, and then they had that deal with the New York Times where they sent all their print subscribers a, a Google Cardboard. But other than yeah. that, it feels like they're moving a little bit slowly with Cardboard. Can you talk a little bit about that? 
Yeah, that's certainly the sentiment. I mean, I think you talk to people that are kind of more in Facebook's camp, it's like Google's way behind on this. Um, but I, I think for, for Google and for people there, it's like they think that progress, that cardboard's made a lot of progress, that it's, you know, the, the example being you get it inside schools, it's, it's a really like introductory way, a first step for a lot of people. Um, you know, I, they're, they're certainly the gamers and the hardcore techies that are go out and buy Oculus, but for a lot of people that their first introduction to um, virtual reality computing will come, may come through cardboard because it's cheap and accessible. Um, and it's kind of similar to approach of Android, right? The, the first, a lot of people in the world, their first mobile experience would be through Android. And, and so kind of once Google wants to lock them into their, their ecosystem. Really kind of is indicative of how Google seems to do things when they're venturing into new territory for them, right? Like they were they were through the gate a couple of years ago with this joke that, ended, you know, with what seemed like a joke when you were at Google I.O., when you were given this box that unfolded into a VR thing, it turned out to be, you know, something that really kind of uh, inspired a lot of people and has turned into something. But like you said, Google's done this so many times where they come out with something and the, the initial reaction is, wow, that's really cool. I really can understand where you're going, the direction, the possibilities, all that kind of stuff, and then nothing. And then it really yeah. kind of, everything kind of slows down and you aren't, as a consumer and, uh, you know, as people who talk about this stuff in the industry, you aren't quite, you aren't quite uh, convinced that that is because they are hard at work on something specific. They probably are, but you never really know that it, to a point to where you kind of start to forget about it, you know, and, and then other people pass I mean, them by. I, I think we should, shouldn't forget that Google is a 60,000 person company. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's like massively bureaucratic and, yeah. and, they, and, 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 in the intent kind of with the whole alphabet changes and what, what Sundar is doing is trying to slim down a lot of the decision making. And I think this is, you know, the fact that Clay was not just running cardboard, but also like the main product manager for Google Gmail and for these uh, apps that, that hundreds of millions of people use. And now you have the sense that, okay, this is a priority and they're actually teams that are devoted to this. Um, that being said, it's still Google. Um, there's still, there's still a lot of red tape internally and, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of chances that, that it might not get off the ground.